Denmark-based biotech company Novozymes sees China as a growing market. Today, we're at their U.S. headquarters in North Carolina, and we will learn how enzymes, their core business, affects our daily lives. Enzymes cannot be seen by the naked eye, but the proteins play a crucial role in everyday life, consumer products, alternative energy, and other uses of chemical compounds. Enzymes come from nature, so so we're actually going out、uh, across the, the globe and, and find enzymes or organisms that produce enzymes that have a very specific function that we're looking for. Danish biotechnology company Novozymes, which has hubs in Europe, China, North America, Brazil, and India. Tailors production to each local market. In China, it has an R&D center in Beijing and a plant in Tianjin, employing about 1,500 people. We've actually established an innovation center in China, where we're looking to develop some more innovations and also to、uh, do things that are focused on the Chinese market. And so, what our business is about, we spend nearly or over 14 percent of our revenues on research and development. But what we're doing is we're trying to find these organisms which produce enzymes that can perform a unique function that is needed in industry or can、um, improve a product. By focusing on research and development, Novozyme strives to make products that benefit consumers but are environmentally benign. The company's enzymes can be found in many products, including bread, laundry detergent, and even clothing. Here we have some stonewash genes. I think the stonewash is probably destructive process, but you can actually use enzymes to create、um, different looks, faded looks in genes instead of using the、uh, physical stones. With consumers in China exposed to a diverse selection of products, Novozymes' business there should become more prominent, according to Rogers. Because of the needs for development and for you know to continued economic growth, I think the Chinese market is certainly going to adopt these solutions at an even more rapid pace. When you look at what our products do, they're they're about making more with less, doing it in a way that uses less energy and、um, does not、um, impact the environment in a negative way. With living standards and the demand for natural resources rising, China's economy is poised to embrace more efficient and sustainable forms of production. As consumption grows, so does the impact on the environment. Certainly,、uh, looking into the future, knowing that we have limited supplies of oil, we are, we are going to need other liquid fuel sources. Ethanol is being produced in China today,、um, and there's quite a significant production of ethanol. And, and、uh, I think it's something、uh, that is also seen as a very important part of the energy future. Novozymes has partnered with Chinese company Shengquan in producing ethanol. They're, they're one of the leaders around the globe in, in producing ethanol from cellulosic feedstocks. Novozymes produces cellulosic ethanol fuel, whereby enzymes are used to break down plant residue into sugars that can be fermented. Most of the world's ethanol fuel now comes from corn or sugarcane. So when you think about energy demand and the demand for gasoline that we're going to face moving into the future, it's very important that we have sustainable sources and resources that are good for the environment. Yu Weijiang, China Daily, North Carolina.